Hi guys, welcome to my 20 week update. I am halfway through this pregnancy, which is just crazy. Time is flying by. Well, on one hand, time is flying by. Like I feel like when I first found out, which was January, beginning of January, it feels like forever ago now that we're almost into May. But then again, with this whole stay at home order going on with COVID-19, it does feel like the days are very long. But yes, 20 weeks this week. Um, I might even be past halfway to pregnancy if I don't make it the full 40 weeks, but if this is anything like my first pregnancy, I will go at least to 40 weeks, if not over. So this week, baby is the size of a banana. Baby is also the size of a paper airplane, which is hilarious. I'm assuming that for both paper airplane and banana, it's the length. <laughs> so this week, baby has now straightened out its, um, his body, and so he is now 10 inches long, about, and about 10 ounces heavy. Baby has been um, starting to practice breathing. He's making that first poop, that meconium. Um, supposedly, he is able to taste different foods that I am eating through amniotic fluid, which is crazy. Um, so his taste buds have like totally formed now. Um, since he's a boy, his testicles are now descending from um, his belly down into the scrotum. The face is really coming together this week. The lips are forming. Um, teeth buds are forming, eyelashes are forming, eyebrows are forming, like just looking more like a human. So this week, the big thing was I had my 20-week um, doctor's appointment. I actually just had it yesterday, so it's still very fresh in my mind, so I can tell you all about it. Um, I was going to try to record the ultrasound because I was having my anatomy scan during it. And I did ask the technician if I could record it, and they said no. <laughs> so I tried, guys, but unfortunately, no, they said I could not film anything, which I get it. So anyway, I got to the building, and I was kind of running low on time, so I rushed over there. Um, they had called me the day before and told me I'm not allowed to bring anybody with me to my appointment, which I already knew about. But something new that they told me about was that I had to wear a face mask to my appointment, which they had never told me that before. It must be a new policy. I don't have any face masks. Um, I don't go anywhere. If I do go get groceries, we just do pick up where they literally just put it in your car. You don't even get out of your car. So I have not needed a face mask because I have not gone anywhere. Um, thankfully, I was able to find a neighbor who had an extra one. Um, it was like one of those you could get at like the Home Depot store, like just um, for like sanding projects and things. So I was able to get one from them and wear that. So thankfully, I, I was covered for that appointment. Not sure if all my future appointments I will have to wear masks as well. I guess we will just wait and see. So anyway, I had to put my mask on. When I got to the building, as soon as I went into the doors, there were um, nurses there and they were taking my temperature and asking me where I was going. And I did not expect this to happen. I was like so flabbergasted that they were like, where are you going? And I was like, um, uh, an ultrasound uh, with uh, my doctor and they were like what <laughs> and, and I was like well, you know my my baby doctor like I was just like stumbling my words and they were just like okay fine go <laughs> so anyway I went in and I uh, found my doctor's office and it was crazy they had this like long red line on the floor and I had to stand at one point of the red line so I was six feet away from the front desk. I took a picture of it so I'll insert that here. So yeah it was really weird and they got me all checked in. I had to pee so bad. I have a shy bladder and so I always make sure that I have a full bladder going to these appointments so that I can pee like when I need to pee because they have to check my urine to see if I have a UTI or anything. So I had to pee so bad and they were like, do you need to pee before your ultrasound? I was like, yes. So I went, I gave them my um, urine sample and then I only waited for maybe a minute. I don't even know if it was a minute. And then they took me back and usually at 
at the start of my appointments they take my blood pressure and my weight but this time they just took me straight to the ultrasound which I thought was interesting but actually it works better for me because I get so nervous for these appointments that in the beginning my heart rate is so high and then they always think there's something wrong with me when I'm just like nervous so it was nice that at this time they had it at the end of the appointments of the beginning so we went in they had the ultrasound room um, the screen was pointed at me so I could see like everything that was going on um, we did confirm baby is a boy <laughs> um, there was no denying it there was a penis there so now I have no doubts anymore it is a boy and so now we have to work on names but yeah so we um, saw that we looked at baby's kidneys um, leg bone arm bone skull um, belly, we saw the four chambers of the heart, um, the lady was really good at it. She said because of this whole coronavirus they haven't been having like regular patients come in and so she's only been doing ultrasound appointments because those are the important ones. So she said she's gotten really good at getting all the uh, measurements that they need. Baby was measuring 20 weeks and 5 days which is spot on to what I was. I was 20 weeks and 5 days at that appointment so we are measuring right on track very exciting yeah so we just we saw baby moving around a lot he at one point was sucking his thumb he was flexing his arms showing us his muscles he was moving around heartbeat was 156 so it was a great rate um, we she gave me a bunch of pictures so I will insert those here for you guys to see super cute got a lot of like profile pictures the one was like from the skull which was like really kind of creepy but all the rest of them were really cute profile pictures and i'm just so excited now that i know for sure it's a boy like i just want to know is this baby gonna look like grayson or is it gonna be a total different look than grayson like it's gonna be so interesting to see that went great um it was pretty fast um the appointment was supposed to be like 45 minute ultrasound and i think she got it done in like 30 minutes maybe not even 30 minutes so yeah she went really fast but I really enjoyed seeing baby on the screen the last time I saw baby on the ultrasound was 12 weeks so from 12 weeks to 20 weeks there's a huge difference and that's probably the last time I will see him unless I want to get an elective ultrasound I'm still debating that because I was supposed to get one a while ago I don't know if I still want to want to or not but um, that might be the last time I see baby until birth so that was really fun Anthony was sad he could come with me but with this whole thing we understand why and we were happy to have pictures of it um, thankfully he was able to stay home and watch Grayson for me since he's furloughed he's not working so he was able to stay home and watch Grayson while I was able to go to my appointment which was really nice after the um, ultrasound they took me into a waiting room where I waited for my doctor to go over the results with me uh, she came in and told me baby looks perfect everything was fine all the measurements were great they didn't see any problems with anything um, they did ask me if I wanted to do a quad screening which is like more blood tests to see like more things that your kid could have um, but I said no just because if there's not anything alerting on the ultrasound then anything that happens that baby might have you know it wouldn't change us having babies so um, I, I opted out of it plus our insurance won't cover it so it would be a big chunk of money and nobody wants me to spend extra money during the stay at home quarantine stuff so I opted out of that um, but she said yeah everything looked great um, they don't want to see me until June so um, another eight weeks they said I could have like a telehealth like online um, doctor's appointment or they could call me if I wanted to but I mean I've not been having any problems with this pregnancy pregnancy especially now that I am in my second trimester I've been feeling great so um, my doctor and I just kind of agreed on if I have any concerns or questions definitely call uh, they'd be happy to take my call um, but other than that they'll just see me at my 28 week appointment so it's a long time to wait but 
it's totally fine. She said they really don't go over anything at the 24 week appointment except for like symptoms to watch out for and this is my second pregnancy and there's Google so you know plus I can call them at any point so yeah they gave me the uh, gestational diabetes sugar drink. I will have to drink that an hour before my appointment for my 28 weeks. Um, this one was the lemon lime so I'll let you guys know in eight weeks <laughs> how that one is. Last time I did the fruit punch so I wanted to try something different and I guess in the south this uh, lemon lime is really popular so we will see what if it's good or not. Yes yeah, so they gave me that and they gave me the pictures and yeah that was kind of it. Um, yeah I expressed my concerns to my doctor about how you know with this whole COVID-19 issue I just don't know how hospitals are going to look like in September and obviously she doesn't know what they're going to look like either but you know she was reassuring me saying like well they can't get any worse than what they are now <laughs> which is true and hopefully by September a lot of things will have eased up because um, we're only we're in April still right now so we'll see how it goes she said um, no matter what your husband will be in the room so I'm very happy to know that. I'm hoping to have visitors. I'm hoping to have Grayson come visit us in the hospital. But I totally understand if it doesn't work out. As long as I have Anthony there with me, I'll be okay with it. My mom is really hoping to be in the room with us this time when I give birth. We didn't have her last time because we just wanted it to be Anthony and I. But this time I was like, you can come in. But um, if things stay like how they are now, then she can't. But hopefully they allow more people um, in the coming months. So we will see. Yeah, so overall it was a great appointment. They took my blood pressure, which was totally fine because I was much more relaxed after watching Baby for a half hour. Um, they took my weight, um, eight pounds um, that I've gained so far. So I'm gaining about a pound a week, I would think, um, or maybe a pound every two weeks. So that would look totally fine. And yeah, they scheduled me for June and that was it. So. It was a really easy appointment. It was long just because the ultrasound and I had to wait for my doctor. But it was eerie like seeing the room. There was no one in the waiting room just because they're only taking like pregnancy and like high risk appointments. So it was just really weird seeing it so dead. But yeah, that was my 20 week appointment. Um, so moving on to just regular things this week. Um, I'll show you my belly right now. Again, so sorry I'm wearing a loose shirt. Every time I do these videos, I realize I'm wearing a loose shirt, so I'm so sorry. Alright, so here's my 20-week belly. Um, I feel like it's about the same. I don't feel like it's that much bigger. So, symptoms this week. My boobs have been super itchy. I'm itching them all the time. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they're just like growing and so like the skin stretching is itchy or what, but they've been really itchy. <laughs> I'm hungry all the time. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired all the time. I'm drinking coffee like every few days. It's not every day, but it is every few days. I'm just so tired. I'm going to need coffee tonight or today. Um, I'm still having problems where I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't go back to sleep. That's what happened to me last night. Anthony came to bed super, super late at night. I don't know why he stayed up that late. And it woke me up and I could not fall asleep because I was just wide awake. I've been feeling like a lot more cramping um, in my uterus area. I think it's just my uterus expanding as baby's getting bigger. It's nothing like to be concerned about. Um, but some days like I do feel more like stretching and crampy down there. I feel baby move a lot more. It was like on like the day I turned 20 weeks, I started feeling baby in the mornings for the first time. Up until then I had only felt him in the evenings. Um, and then 20 weeks on the dot, I felt him in the mornings. And then at, like, every day that passes, I feel him more and more. And I feel him all the time. So um, it's good. I feel him all the time. It's reminding me that I'm pregnant because I keep forgetting that I'm pregnant because I just feel so normal. I haven't been having any crazy dreams lately. I haven't really been having any um, cravings. I've been wanting ice cream a lot more just because I can now that Lent has been over for a while. So I have been having a little more ice cream, which is a fun treat. Um, I guess I kind of crave sugar because um, I'm constantly wanting like cookies or candy or ice cream or something. Yeah, I know there's probably more that I need to tell you guys about like symptom wise and stuff, but I I can't really think of anything and I'm just like so tired. I just can't even think straight right now. So I think I'm just going to end this vlog. Um, baby's due date is still September 9th. I didn't say that earlier, but 
Well, I assume you have probably kind of got the gist of it. Measuring right on track, and so yes, we're keeping that due date. Baby's gonna come when baby wants to come, though, unless we induce. So it's not saying that the ninth is like the end-all be-all, but that is just a good date to shoot for. So yeah, I think that's it for this week. Um, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for next week's bump date, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!